guests coming up today on The Play. We have questions. Could Common Core be replaced in state schools? Why does Big Truck Tacos not want you to follow them on Facebook? And will tomorrow be as warm as today? Well, answers to these questions straight ahead. A state Senate committee approves a bill that would eliminate Common Core for certain subjects. The measure approved on Monday would replace Common Core English Language Arts and Math standards with new ones to be developed and adopted by the State Board of Education. The Common Core standards were developed by education chiefs and governors from 48 states, but the curriculum has been controversial in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma's Randy Ellis will have more on why some state legislators believe the decisions surrounding Common Core were made hastily. Overcrowding at South Oklahoma City Schools is affecting teachers, particularly at Capitol Hill High School, where there are not enough classrooms and teachers sp spend the day moving from classroom to classroom. Now these traveling teachers, number 15. Our education reporter, Tim Willard, spoke with the group about the arrangement and asked them how the district's proposed plan to relocate hundreds of students from South Side Schools to North Side Schools will affect them. Well, here's an interesting story. Big Truck Tacos is asking their customers to follow the company exclusively on Twitter. Now, the company was one of the first locally to use social media to promote its business, but says it, it now disagrees with Facebook's current business practices. They don't agree with Facebook's advertisement posts and are no longer updating their Facebook account on a daily basis. Steve Blackmire is writing this one. More from him tomorrow. Kim Ray is building its new headquarters and a 300,000 square foot manufacturing facility on land owned by Aubrey McClendon. The new site, located at Britain and Eastern, however, our business reporter Brianna Bailey writes, neighbors are concerned about noise, traffic, and pollution. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be at the peak tonight, taking on the Denver Nuggets. Tip off is at 7. Our sports team will have more in the game, as well as analysis in Tuesday's editions of the Oklahoma and online at newsok.com. Taking a quick look at the forecast, we'll see slightly cooler temperatures tomorrow with highs in the upper 50s. We could see a few showers on Wednesday. As the storm system moves across the southern plains, showers and thunderstorm chances continue into Thursday across parts of Oklahoma. The rain chances will gradually shift east throughout the day. Windy conditions also expected as a cold front moves across the area. But I'll tell you what, those 70s and 60s look pretty good to me. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. Have a great night, everyone.